Hi, Fire Signs. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general weekly love reading, uh, weekly tarot love reading for the week of February 1st through the 7th. This is for all the Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to start with the couples and then move over to the singles. I'm sorry. I, I meant to say I'm going to start with the singles and then go with the couples. So if you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's two ways to connect with me. Just visit the description box below this video and it will give you all the information uh, that you need to connect with me. And you guys can also please follow me on Instagram, um, Facebook and Twitter where I post little tidbits and uh, weekly cards just to kind of give you a, a little extra oomph for the week okay and um, so that's under moon pie tarot of course all of those okay so for the fire signs this is for fire sign sun moon rising or venus some of the messages may or may not resonate if they don't you can always check your monthlies they are up okay so let's start with the fire signs for love for the singles, February 1st through February 7th, 2007, um, 2018. Forgive me if I say, I'm still saying 17, I don't know why. I know a couple of people called me on that, and uh, my apologies. I am human. Okay, so let's see. All right, fire signs, you're starting with the moon. And then you have the sun. And then you have the two of cups. And then the two of swords. And the two of wands. Lots of lots of stuff going on here. And the devil. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm just going to say it straight out. The overall energy here is very strong sexual attraction with someone. And if you're single. So let me explain this. The singles... This can be for those of you who have absolutely no one, or this can be for the singles who are dating, but you are not exclusive with the person you are dating, okay? But the overall energy, some of you could have a Capricorn coming in, some of you could have a Pisces coming in, some of you could have another, uh, a Leo coming in, okay? There's a lot of partnership energy happening here, and strong sexual energy with another person so <clears throat> whoever you're dating or if all right so we'll start if you are completely single there's no one else at all okay there i feel like there's going to be if you've been out dating you may have quite a few options there's going to be a lot of passion two of cups is meeting someone and you could be meeting a capricorn that you connect with very well, okay? And also this, you know, that spark that just kind of hits out of nowhere that, you know, it's hard to explain that feeling. You know, you either have it or you don't with someone when you meet them. Um, you either feel it or you don't feel it, right? Uh, and, and, you know, I just feel like for you guys, you're gonna feel that, that spark this week um, it's going to create a lot of fantasy and illusion but it will be very positive for you okay because there will be a connection that gets made this could have already happened for some of you or this energy could be happening during this week or the following week it really just depends um, but there's a little bit of indecision okay um, about whether this can this could just be like a one night thing okay but there's going to be indecision i feel like from your part if you want to continue uh if, the, if this is something that can be continued again you know you may just experience this during this time period and it will just be very good it will just feel very good or if this is someone that you're currently dealing with you know you've got a very strong connection to this person very very strong and they to you uh, again as I was saying you're just gonna feel it out of nowhere um, in it, it could be a lot of fantasy involved with this other person but it's a lot of dreaminess 
you know, and things not really, at first not being sure, but then being sure about them, you know, that almost as if, you know, you meet them, you feel that spark, or, or you're, you know, you, you connect again with the person that you're dating, you feel that spark with them, or that longing and desire, and, um, you know, not much... I, I feel like you're just going to be in this illusionary place of dreams. And then kind of like, you know, what, maybe when you reach out and you both get together, there's this openness that happens between the two of you. But at the same time, it's not indicative of it going any further this week. Just this week. There's just this a bit of indecision about whether this partnership can be cemented into something more but I'm seeing you know a lot of sexual energy happening here with you and someone else okay so as I was saying it could be those signs they said or if it's not those it's just someone that you are connected to there's an addictive quality to this person that's difficult for you to overcome okay uh, for those of you who are Leo's especially more so could be dealing with a Pisces or a Capricorn um, or just you know or another or another Leo for some of you okay uh, it's not so important as much you know giving this the, the cards their sign names just maybe confirms it a little bit more for you but you know who I'm talking about and even if it's not those signs that I named and even if this is someone new coming for this is not someone from your past returning. This is a new connection being made this week for those of you who have absolutely no one. So, I mean, I think it's great. You're going to have like, you know, a, a, <laughs> a lot of connecting here. There's these three twos here, a partnership. So there's, you know, it's just, it's heavy energy of partnership this week. Okay, so I'm just going to move on to the couples and see what the energy is for the couples for this week. And for you guys, the couples, this is for those of you who are, who are in exclusive relationships. Okay, uh, and, and basically what I mean by that is you're not sleeping with anyone else. There's, there's some type of a commitment there. Okay, so the energies, if you wish to get a personal reading, check the description box below. So the couples, this is for fire sign couples for February 1st through the 7th, 2018. What are the energies for the couples for February 1st through the 7th through, uh, or to 2018? Oh, cards are falling. All right, we're going to, oh, we're going to take these. Okay, so you're starting with the Queen of Pentacles and the Sun again. Seven of Swords. King of Cups. Ace of Cups. Three of Cups. Nice. And the other person has the Ace of Wands and the Tower. Okay. So let's start with the other person that you're dealing with, <clears throat> their energy. Uh, this person wants to get it on with you, basically, <laughs> in a nutshell. Um, and it's just, you know, they, and they're a little possessive or a little bit jealous. Okay. But they want like that, you know, that new beginning, that passionate physical connection with you because I think because they have I don't think I feel because they've got this very possessive energy when it comes to you this person wants to connect with you okay so the overall energy is the three of cups so uh, this calls for celebration you may have been disassociated with your partner for a little while or maybe you just weren't connecting in a physical way for whatever reason um, <clears throat> I feel like it's because you've been taking on this Queen of Pentacles energy, fire signs. You've been quite focused on work. You've been focused on 
business, uh, focused on yourself, you haven't really been emotionally connected, uh, not, not because you're not trying to be I just feel like you've had other things that you've had that you have going on um, and and this person probably is longing for your physical touch okay you've got the Sun here so there's a positive element to all of this with this other person um, I kind of get the sense that, you know, the Seven of Swords, something may have happened between the two of you and this person wants to reconnect or reunite with you. Okay. Um, well, I was saying that here, of course, but they want to reconnect also on an emotional level. Okay. Maybe uh, this is someone close to you, close to your family. Uh, you know your your other you know your your siblings and things like that. Uh, I feel like there's been some type of a disconnect. So some of you could be dealing with a water sign or an earth sign. Um, but if it's this water sign, this King of Cups, this older person who is very emotionally well, he's motion he or she is they're emotionally reserved kind of like you a little bit have been are this week you know but I feel like there's going to be a new beginning in love with this person a new new emotional key emotional developments there's communication coming there could be pregnancy there could be marriage it could be a birth uh, a connecting starting up a new connection in emotions because of some type of a se separation or something that may have happened or something that was going on that that caused a separation um there there's going to be like a reuniting of this this person that you're dealing with they have mm, some hidden uh, they may feel like you're so busy doing other things that mm, you know you're they are assuming that maybe you're having an affair or you're cheating or something going on like that so there's a little bit of some jealous energy that's happening here which is causing them to come back towards you okay um but i feel like them doing that creates such a beautiful union with you that it reestablishes a connection that was broken at some point and starts this new beginning in sharing of emotions and this new beginning of love with I feel for most of you well not most of you I've got a ton of readers a lot of you are dealing with either earth or water that's the energy that's coming through some of you with this tower card could be dealing with the Scorpio some of you are dealing with Cancer Pisces some of you are dealing with Virgo Taurus Capricorn some of you are dealing with a Leo sorry it's blurry yeah and some fiery passionate energy here too as well so you know I feel like it's it's very positive it's going to be a positive week for you as far as if some of you you know if you've been looking to reconnect with someone with your partner uh, and you both, you know, I feel like it's more them looking to reconnect with you because I feel like you've kind of been just not available um, in communicating with them. And I, I just get a feeling that that's causing them to feel a little possessive and jealous and they want to reach out and they want to be with you again. So you may be hearing from this person in some way hearing from them that they want to uh, connect with you physically they might even try to possess you a little bit so i feel like you know a lot of you fire signs always get people who are a little overly possessive with you for some reason i don't know why i feel that uh, i just feel that strongly but it definitely has something to do with this king of cups here so just pay attention to this energy i do feel like this king of cups not only has that possessive energy over you but this person also wants to have a new beginning with love so your reading is is nice you just 
may have to figure out if you want to connect back with them again because some of you may not want to some of you may feel this person is too controlling or a bit obsessive over you and maybe that's why you've been just paying attention to yourself and the things you need to do to stay in the positive light okay so there's this energy is definitely playing out but so is the three of cups where this can be a reunion with someone okay so just pay attention to that energy like i said it's just for the week um, check your monthlies to see if it resonates there too. And, uh, thanks for listening and I will see you guys next week. All right. Thanks. Bye.